Hey guys, of course, welcome to Jonas Wade Official. Gonna react to a video. This one is entitled What is a vaccine? Um, I know there's a lot of controversy going on as to whether or not you should get vaccinated. I don't think you should be forced, um, but I think it should be something that you choose to. Persons might have different reasons why they might choose to do it, whether it's to travel, whether it's for work, whether they're just curious to join science and their newfound vaccine but nonetheless if it is your choice and if you have the ability to choose choose wisely okay as for me i decided to get fully vaccinated um why because i choose to that's why <laughs> nonetheless i'm gonna react to this video what is a vaccine um so now we're gonna of course learn from it and i would hope that you enjoy it let's go ahead and check it out of course the original video link will be in the comment section pinned okay let's go ahead brought to you by the smart image base a subscription mm -hmm. website where you can download thousands of medical images and videos so it's a learning lectures, video guys. courses presentations professional training and more for more information click on the uh -huh. link in the description so click on the link in Ooh. immunization is the process yes. of becoming immune to or protected against a disease oh, usually by receiving a vaccine Okay, so the vaccines, vaccines are great stuff. stimulate your immune system to protect you from certain diseases so you won't get sick or get an infection. Okay. Normally, the organs and cells of your immune system defend your body from harmful germs, such as bacteria and viruses. Very true. By blood cell. Immune blood cell. cells are constantly circulating through your body. Ooh. They monitor certain substances on the surfaces of cells called <laughs> antigens. Weird. Healthy this looks cells like have different antigens than diseased body cells or foreign invaders, the invaders in the body. Ooh, that black the thing is definitely foreign invaders. usually ignore the antigens on healthy cells. But when immune cells come across antigens on germs, that they like destroy the germ. Oh, gosh. Afterward, the immune cell displays the germ's antigen on its surface. This activates other types of immune cells to help get rid of the infection. Really? For example, some activated yeah, immune cells recognize bad. the antigen on infected body cells and then destroy the goalie. It looks like goalie. This looks Other like goalie. activated immune cells, cells. called plasma cells, Ooh. make molecules called antibodies. Yeah, I These have antibodies that for sure. travel through your body and lock on only to germs that have its specific antigen. Are you serious? This marks the germ for destruction. That's how it's actually working? Then other Crazy. immune cells attack the germs that have these antibodies. Once the infection is gone, some of the immune cells that were exposed to the antigen become memory immune cells. So they just hang around then? In the future, if the same type of germ infects your body again, the memory immune cells will be ready to destroy it so you don't get sick. So this the cells do not die? natural immunity. In many cases, it will last your whole lifetime. I the guess that's what vaccine getting works. natural immunity from having the disease itself is that some naturally acquired infections can cause serious complications oh God, this or may so even gruesome. be deadly. Yes. For example, polio can result in permanent paralysis or death. Yeah. Measles can cause swelling of the brain, resulting in permanent brain damage or death, especially what? in children under age five. I did not know and that. And whooping cough, also known as pertussis, can cause complications such as pneumonia, slowed or stopped breathing and death especially never in babies under one year of age a pertussis while symptoms may not be severe in all people it's not <coughs> possible to know who will be affected enough to become very ill or even die god forbid vaccines can protect you from getting these diseases and their harmful symptoms okay vaccines that, often that contain a small amount of weakened or killed germs but some contain genetic material, such as RNA or DNA, oh that provide instructions for your body's own cells to make the germ's antigen. Really? Usually, this is so complicated you sometimes. the vaccine as a shot. Uh -huh, Inside yes. your body, the germ particles in the vaccine teach your immune cells to attack these germs. This process what? doesn't make you sick, but it does cause your body to make memory cells and antibodies for those germs. When they reach, I guess. When they eventually As a result, arrive. If that germ infects your body later in life, your immune system is ready to fight the infection oh. so that you don't get sick. So that's how it works. The main types of vaccines include COVID-19 attenuated vaccines, 
inactivated vaccines, <laughs> toxoid vaccines, okay, subunit and conjugate vaccines, oh gosh, mRNA vaccines, uh huh, and viral vector vaccines. I think viral vector is what COVID is, right? Live attenuated vaccines use alive but weakened germs. For real? They're most likely a natural water? infection and provide a strong disease immunity. Examples are the measles, mumps, rubella, chicken pox, and yeah. flu nasal spray vaccines. Rubella is very dangerous. Inactivated so. vaccines use inactive or killed germs. You may need several doses or booster shots over time. Yeah, like three, two or three Examples for the are hepatitis A, and polio. Flu, polio, and rabies vaccines. Especially when you're a child. I think we got those when Toxoid we were like in high vaccines school, protect school. against harmful substances made by germs called toxins. They use weakened versions of the toxins called toxoids. You may need for booster real? shots to maintain protection against diseases. How often Examples though? are the diphtheria and tetanus parts of the DTaP vaccine. Yeah, we got tetanus. Too. I remember and tetanus. Conjugate vaccines use only a specific part of a germ. They provide strong immunity to that key part of the germ. These what vaccines are the, the, like the head of the germ, the tail shot. of the germ. Examples are the pertussis part of the DTaP vaccine and the hepatitis B vaccine. So hepatitis A and hepatitis B Instead are the of same. using germs or toxins. MRNA vaccines contain a special type of RNA called messenger RNA, or mRNA. mRNA instructs your cells to make the germ's antigen, which triggers an immune response. These vaccines do not carry live okay. virus and do not change your DNA. Examples are certain COVID-19 vaccines. Oh, I mean certain. Viral vector vaccines may use either DNA or mRNA to provide cells with instructions yeah, to I make a germ the antigen. The genetic material is wrapped in a different safe virus to take the instructions into your cells. These vaccines do not change your DNA. That's good. Examples are certain COVID-19 vaccines. Uh-huh. It's important to know that vaccines not only protect you, but your community as well. Very true. Many diseases that vaccines prevent are spread from person to person. That's true. When only a few people in your community are vaccinated, the risk of a disease outbreak is high. Strong, yeah. But Get vaccinated, if most guys. people are vaccinated, it's much less likely for a disease to spread. Yeah, that's this so This is true. called community or herd immunity. Herd, that's a lot herd for the immunity COVID is time. especially important to protect people who can't be vaccinated. This includes people with weakened immune systems, serious allergies, or mm. other health conditions. Yep. Vaccines protect you, your family, and your community from diseases that can be dangerous or and even deadly. deadly. Yeah, that's so true. To find so out more nice about vaccines, one. talk to your health care provider. So, guys, I just want to encourage you, if you can, or if it is that you have not gotten vaccinated, you are not forced to. I don't think anybody should be forced to get vaccinated at all. Um, it should be a matter of choice. Um, so there are different things which could cause you to make that decision to get vaccinated. As I said, maybe it's because of your work. Maybe it's because of your family. You have to travel some type of policy where you work, live. You know what I mean? Um, but nonetheless, whatever is affecting your decision, I hope that you are not forced or you do not do it against your own will because already that is not good for your human rights and nonetheless thank you so very much for requesting don't forget to subscribe to the channel if there's a video you want me to learn about if there's a video you want me to react to please don't forget to leave a comment down below okay guys thank you bye guys